How's it going? My name is Brent from Encore, and today I'd like to go over six different ways to finish corners. I went ahead and drew them out. Uh, super fancy. I'm a great drawer. So here we are. There we are. And let's go ahead and get started on this. So we've got six corners here. Each one of these we're going to do with a little bit different technique and uh, see what you like best. I already know which one I like best because it's what I use every day. <laughs> so but I'm not going to tell you what that is. Let's get started. Sorry, but now we've got some cars in here. We're kind of crammed in right now. But let's go ahead and we'll start with this one here. So you can see here on this one, this is the painted surface with the little squigglies. And then this is the paint protection sticking off. So what I'm going to do is round this corner off. All right, there we go. And then so at this point, when I'm installing a corner like this, I'd put some heat on it and go ahead and wrap these in. So basically what we did is went right up to the edge of the paint and then cut that edge out and then we left this hanging over. This is such a tough hood with, with, with these edges and stuff. <laughs> because you can't get to them. That's why I actually chose these ones for these back part. There we go. All right, so that's that edge. I'd say that's a good edge. It's not really an edge, it's a good corner. All right, let's move on to the next one. So this is actually a technique I used to use a long while ago and my rep came out and told me not to do that anymore. So he didn't like it, um, but we'll go ahead and show it to you. It's just a technique that I came up with. All right, so basically what it is is you just cut the material off, you know, with the same uh, matching the, the hood just hanging over everywhere. All right, so this was a technique I used for years. It always worked real well for me. You go ahead and you put the, put it, the material on, trim it, and then heat it up and just wrap it around under. I mean, from the top, it looks absolutely fantastic. Here's the part that my rep didn't like. All right, so you can see right here, we've got a couple little fingers. And so the technique that I would use to make those stay down would be to heat them up real hot, like really hot, like you're burning the material almost. You're just overheating it and then kind of melting it together. And then you push it down with your finger. And it basically just melts it down and sticks to itself. Uh, I don't know, I still like that corner. <laughs> but we don't use, we don't do it like that anymore, so. This edge looks, you know, fantastic from the top. And I don't think it looks that terrible from the bottom either. He didn't like the fact that I was overheating the material like that because he told me that basically I was melting the top coat on it and he didn't think that that was good, a good technique. Anyway, moving right along. All right, so this one is gonna be similar to the first one. It's just that we're gonna leave a tiny bit more material hanging over the edge. The advantage to this one over the one I just did is that this this one won't have the, the material won't be bunching up so much right there on the edge, underneath the, on the bottom anyway. So the edge looks really good on the top. I mean, all these edges are going to look really good on the top. Otherwise, we wouldn't be using it, the technique at all. But you do see that you've got the paint a little bit exposed there. So you can see this edge when you, when you lift the hood up. I wouldn't say that that's necessarily a terrible thing because it is underneath the hood. 
All right, so on this one, we're just gonna cut out some V shapes on it. All right, so when I wrap this one underneath, actually what I would do with this one is I would grab these little parts and I would give them a tiny bit of stretch and then wrap them underneath. All right, let's take a look at that. So some areas the material is going to overlap a little bit, which seems okay. The only issue with this is that if you don't cut down low enough, you're going to see some of this on the edge on the side. So this one, we're just going to cut a V shape right into the, on the very corner. So this one, what I did here is cut in the V shape. So and what I would do to wrap this one down would be to first, I always basically start with pushing that edge down. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of stretch on this material and stretch it a little bit backwards away from the corner. The same with this one, just a little bit away from the corner. So all these will still need to be heated up and pushed down. So this one we're just going to cut straight across right at the edge. And normally when I'm doing an edge like this, I would go ahead and cut this during my pre-wrap or tr when I'm trimming the edges right before my pre-wrap. All right, that one, eh, I'm going to say I probably cut that like maybe of an eighth of an inch too short. It's nice to have a little bit still hanging over so you can wrap it. I mean, that's real close though. All right, we can see that's a good finish edge too. What do you guys think? What, what, which one would you pick as far as being a favorite? All right, well, what do you think about those six corners? Which one do you pick for your install? And maybe do you do something different? I'd like to hear about it in the comments. Um, personally, number six is basically how I do majority of all of my edges, or of all my corners. So we almost always are using number six. I used to do more of these, and I, but I don't like those anymore. And then, you know, the one that I'm not supposed to do anymore that I really like is the second one that we did, where we actually like melt the material to itself on the back. I really like that install, but my rep didn't. So there we have it. Thanks for taking a look. We'll see you on the next one.